Coming up on this edition of Southwest TV News. Months of behind-the-scenes preparation led to the opening weekend of the 2016 Ford World Women's Curling Championship in Swift Current. The Dr. Noble Irwin Regional Healthcare Foundation has received another donation, this time for the Cypress Regional Hospital in Swift Current. Southwest TV News, in partnership with the Swift Current Museum, recently debuted the documentary, The History of Hockey in Swift Current. Thanks for joining us here today. The top 12 teams are in Swift Current for the Ford World Women's Curling Championship, and the community has embraced this event once again. Months of behind-the-scenes preparation led to the opening weekend of the 2016 Ford World Women's Curling Championship in Swift Current. And in the final days before the event, crews were busy at the Credit Union IPLEX preparing the venue for the 12 teams and fans from around the world. A key part of the championship is having perfect ice. And for a world-class event, Jamie Borisaw of Curl Canada is the person for the job. Working on the Canada Cup, Scotties, and now the Worlds in Swift Current, no one knows the art of curling ice better than Borisaw, with all of the preparation starting several days before the championship. We'll come in here and it's hockey ice to start with, so we build over the hockey ice. So uh, what we do is we'll put a leveling flood on, uh, try and get it as close to level as we can. Then we'll paint it white, uh, seal that all in, mark out our, our rink. So we mark out all the sheets and walkways and all that. Um, and then we start putting in our circles and painting them, uh, put decals down, run our lines in, and just keep building up from there. He adds it with three draws each day. His crew will have to scrape and pebble the ice three times a day and deal with any changing ice conditions. You got the morning draws or less, afternoon more people, evening draws usually full, the weather will change. Uh, yeah, so, so you have to stay on top of all that. Programs! programs here? And from an organizational standpoint, everything from food concessions to souvenirs and the patch were all organized through a team of close to 500 volunteers. A challenge that Swift Current is excited to take on once again, after initially hosting the championship in 2010. It's really exciting to see the transformation or to see behind the scenes everything that goes into an event like that. And it's overwhelming the number of people that have to be involved to make it a success. And it's been really exciting to work with so many enthusiastic volunteers and very knowledgeable volunteers, which is great you know, to be, to be part or, or working with them. Outside of the arena, the community was struck with curling fever as Ford of Canada hosted a media event with a lighthearted afternoon of street curling, giving participants a chance to show off their curling skills. And all of the pomp and pageantry of the 2016 Ford World Women's Curling Championship was unveiled with the opening ceremonies as each of the teams and dignitaries took to the ice. The official launch of nine days of exciting curling action at the IPLEX, which will have positive effects throughout the community. You hear uh, economic numbers in the range of uh, 10 million, but really when you think about, uh, you know, obviously with the slowdown in energy and uh, uh, economies kind of grinding down a little bit to have your hotels and restaurants and, uh, and stores fill up for a week and visitors come into your community, I think that's really important and, uh, you know, it's great timing uh, in that respect for us. and. Uh, you know, the other part of it, economic is huge, but just the, the swell of community pride that you get from an event like this. And uh, it's something that after 2010, uh, this region's really embraced, and I think that's the most exciting part. In the coming days, the top 12 teams will battle it out on the ice, all leading up to the World Championship Final on Sunday, March 27th. The Dr. Noble Irwin Regional Healthcare Foundation has received another donation, this time for the Cypress Regional Hospital in Swift Current. The Dr. Noble Irwin Regional Healthcare Foundation has received another donation, this time for the Cypress Regional Hospital in Swift Current. Representatives of the Sandra Schmerler Foundation recently made a check presentation for $48,300. Proceeds which will be used for the purchase of critical care equipment in the women's and children's unit. 
and welcome donation to the Healthcare Foundation and its mandate of providing quality health care for residents across southwest Saskatchewan. For, for us at the foundation, it's always great when we can gather some additional funds to be used for health care in our area. And it's so nice that the Schmerler Foundation comes through, you know, and, and just leaves some money, leaves, leaves a, a trail of good news, I suppose. And, and for us at the foundation, it's just fabulous. We're really excited about it and looking forward to the uh, finding the pieces of equipment that will work the best in, uh, in uh, women's and children's department here at the hospital. And a timely donation from the Sandra Schmirler Foundation as the World Women's Curling Championship takes to the ice in Swift Current. Any um, venue we go into where we do a crowd sweep, which we'll be doing here um, on the semifinal game this week, uh, we try and, and give back a lot more than we would ever take out of a community and, and again thank the curling family for supporting us. Um, so generally it's, it's around the $50,000 mark, somewhere between forty five and, and $50,000 that we um, leave in the community so that the local hospital can buy a piece of equipment that helps babies born in this area in Swift Current. The Sandra Schmirler Foundation was created in January 2001 as a legacy to three-time world curling champion and Olympic gold medalist Sandra Schmirler all in recognition and celebration of her love of family. The Sandra Schmirler Foundation raises money to purchase life-saving equipment for babies born premature and critically ill, and has donated millions of dollars to hospital newborn intensive care units in every province in Canada and the Northwest Territories. Hockey plays an important role in many communities, and Southwest TV News, along with the Swift Current Museum, have released a new documentary focusing on the early days of the sport in Swift Current. Hockey plays an integral role in many communities and has been a cherished sport for generations. Southwest TV News, in partnership with the Swift Current Museum, recently debuted the documentary The History of Hockey in Swift Current, showcasing the early days of hockey in the community from 1900 to 1967. Looking back at the good old days of playing on the creek to the citizens rink in downtown Swift Current, the video spotlights numerous players and teams who started their roots in Swift Current. A video which spurred discussion from the museum crowd and for some, a walk down memory lane. When I was a young fellow here, our biggest complaint was there was never any ice because Swift Current had Chinooks and some of the early shots were uh, skating on the Swift Current Creek. Well, I lived on the north side, and we had to carry our skates and sticks and gloves or whatever we were going to carry over to the south side by the, by the, uh, the uh, CPR down. And that's where we had many, many hours of hockey. And it was like they mentioned on the, on the film. You'd go there and you'd stay there all day. And I have the other set of DVDs that have been produced. And, you know, they're very good. I really enjoyed it. And I enjoyed tonight. It brought back a lot of memories. While for others, it was a chance to meet up with former colleagues on the ice and share their passion for hockey and history in general. History is vital to appreciating your community, I think. Uh, you appreciate what previous generations went through in building the community and, um, you know, what we do nowadays sustains the community. So uh, in appreciating the past, we, I think we can learn how to do the right job nowadays in keeping things going and building our society, building a stronger community. The history of hockey in Swift Current, 1900 to 1967, is the seventh video in the series, Stories from Saskatchewan's Great Southwest, produced in partnership with the Swift Current Museum and Southwest TV News. Copies of the box set of DVDs are now on sale at the Swift Current Museum. Well, this brings to a close another episode of Southwest TV News, reporting the stories that matter to you. We always welcome your news tips. You can always reach us here by phone at our studio or by email to contact us at southwesttvnews.com. Also, be sure to join us daily online for the latest news from across southwest Saskatchewan and so much more at mylocaltv.ca. And be sure to follow us on a range of social media. Thanks for joining us here today. I'm Carol Andrews.